Bobcats. This is Jimmy Spazzato, the proud principal of the Trojans, and it's my pleasure for the first time to introduce our new team. So this is the Bobcats team. They are newly formed this year because we have four teams on the seventh grade or our year two level. So great team we put together here. They've got some information for you, and I'm going to talk about some school-wide stuff before we hand it over to them. So this summer, we talked about our vision, but let me get you some school information here first. So this is our basic information. And at any point, um, if you want to screenshot one of these slides for you to have, that's great. But we're also recording this so you can always go back and look at it. So get your phone out if you want to just take a little snapshot, screenshot your computer if you know how to do that. But here's just some general information about how to contact us, what our school hours are, your wake ID. And as seventh graders, you know how to do most of this stuff. And if you have any trouble, um, just contact one of your teachers, contact um, your counselor, Ms. Caldwell, um, or Ms. Farrell, D. Farrell too, and we will help you out. So we, we worked on our vision this summer. Um, the staff got together, new staff, old staff, because we really wanted to breathe life into our, our vision. And so we came up with new, this new vision statement. So I'm going to let you just hear it on, out of my mouth, and then um, you can read it to yourself as we're going along. East Garner Magnet Middle School is a diverse community which fosters a safe and equitable environment that values relationships, collaboration, and high expectations developing lifelong learners and leaders who are responsible global citizens. So just I'll talk through that real quickly. We want you to be safe. We want this to be an equitable environment where, where all means all and that everyone has opportunities and access to the support and success they need. We care about you. We want to have meaningful life-changing relationships. It's important for us to collaborate with you and one another. And we care about you, so we're going to hold you to high expectations for yourselves, <clears throat> excuse me, and for ourselves. Because the goal, again, is for you to be a learner, a scholar, and a leader. You can read the, the Wake County mission statement there. I mean, our, our mission statement there. Um, and our goal is to get you ready for high school. So it's important that you buy into these and that we live these together. And so at this point, I am going and to I believe introduce, we're ready. introduce Mr. Klinkscales, who is your year two seventh grade administrator. So take it away, Mr. Klinkscales. All right, guys. Good afternoon. Thank you guys for getting started. Uh, we've got all of our, our grade level teams meeting today, and we are just trying to get off of one and make that transition to the next. So Welcome Bobcats to the seventh grade. I'm Mr. Klingscales and I am so glad to see you guys here. I'll probably do a little bit more chatting down the road, but I want to welcome you guys to your Bobcats open house today. You've got one of our newer teams on campus and I know they're going to make you feel welcome and they're bringing all their excitement and enthusiasm and positive energy their way for you guys. So I'm going to turn it back over. I think Ms. Diane, do you want to start the video that's next? Yes. Yes, absolutely. Hi, everybody. My name is Miss Nyang, and I'm the team lead of the Bobcats. And before we truly introduce ourselves, I want you guys to take a look at this video. So we threw that together just to give you guys a trailer introduction to our team. 
and we're going to now talk about what it means to be a bobcat. So as you saw in that short video, you are fierce, strong, and brave, and that is what we are going to instill in you uh, throughout this year. And also, as a Bobcat, you will learn to be adaptable and resilient throughout this year's school challenges because there will be, but we are absolutely going to persevere. Now, we're going to go ahead and introduce our core Bobcat teachers. And we are going to start with myself, Miss Diane. I'll say that again. I teach English language arts, and this is my third year teaching at East Garner Magnet Middle School. A fun fact about me is that I have a fur baby. This is Andy right here. He's adorable. I will talk about him a lot. And him and Leah, which is another one of our teachers, Mr. G's service dog, they are best friends. And then you can find my email at the bottom for any uh, questions that you may have after this. And I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Cole. Good, morning. Good afternoon. Um, I'm your mad scientist. I will, I've been here for 18 years, turning you all to the dark side of science because that's what I do. <laughs> and Star Wars is my only universe and camping is my getaway when I need to get um, relaxed. There's my email if you need any questions anytime. Thank you. All right, we're gonna move to Mr. Williams. Hello, Mr. Williams. Good evening. Yes, I mean, this is my third year here at East Garner Middle School. I've served in the military for eight years. Um, I've coached several sports and I look forward to teaching you all. I teach math. And my email address is also at the bottom. If you have any questions, please send me, shoot me an email. And last for our core teachers, we have Mr. G. Hi, I'm Mr. Gutierrez, or most of you will probably call me Mr. G. Um, I teach social studies. Uh, this is my second year teaching at East Garner. And fun facts about me, I am the only teacher in Wake County with a service dog. Her name's Leah, and I am an Army veteran that served two tours in Iraq. Awesome, thank you. And these are our attached teachers uh, to the Bobcats team, so you will be seeing these people. Uh, first, we have Mrs. Johnson. She's a literacy resource teacher. And then we have Mrs. Duval, who's a healthy living teacher. We have Mr. Dubar, who is part of the D, uh, B, BST department. And then we have Mr. Dare, who is in foreign languages and teaches Spanish. And this is also introducing the proud principal of East Garden Magna Middle School, Mr. Spasado, who spoke earlier. And here is his email address. And then Mr. Clinkscales, if you want to introduce yourself. Thank you, Bobcats. Thank you, Ms. Nyang. And I just want to say again, welcome to you guys to seventh grade, or we like to call it year two. I am your grade level administrator, Mr. Clinkscales. I know a lot of you were here last year, sixth graders, whether virtually or on campus. I've been here for six years and a couple fun facts on myself or I love music, especially playing the piano and being on the water in a kayak or a paddleboard. We are here for you guys. My email's at the bottom. I wanna leave you guys with two words. I want you to be deliberate and I want you to be relentless. We cannot let what's going on outside in this world distract us from what our purpose is here at East Garner Magnet Middle School, and that is learning. You guys are here to learn because that's the investment that's going to bring the biggest returns for you down the road. So be deliberate and be relentless in everything you do. East side. Thank you, Mr. Klingscales. And now, uh, Mrs. Caldwell, if you would like to introduce yourself. Yes, welcome Bobcat Scholars. You guys are on a great team. They're a new team to seventh grade, but we have some wonderful teachers. You'll be well taken care of. I am Mrs. Caldwell, the proud counselor for year two, seventh grade. I have been at East Garner for six years. I am a mommy of five children. They range from 13 through 30, and I have two grandbabies, two and a half and six. Um, a fun fact about me, I am from the Bronx, New York, and my superpower is giving out all the love and the great hugs and support. Know that you are supported, you are loved. We are here to encourage you. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please, please feel free to give me an email on wcaldwell at wcpss.net. Welcome, welcome to year two. 
Thank you very much, Mrs. Caldwell. Okay, and these, this is a list of student services and support staff email. Um, if you were to need anything such as parent family engagement coach, which is Mrs. Lizenby. Um, and I'm gonna take a second, about five seconds here, if you need to screenshot this screen. It'll also be available to you because we are recording this um, session. And moving on. Um, other people to contact if you have any questions about special education, you can contact uh, Mrs. Sokolovsky, and there's her email, or any questions about limited English proficiency, you also have Ms. Messenger and Mr. Page. Now, as we talk about um, our schedule, there is two schedules that you're going to be looking at. We first have our first 10 days, and this is an example right here, okay? Um, for the first two weeks of school, the schedule is going to be looking different than after that, than your normal schedule. And all of this will be posted to the Bobcats team Google Classroom by 3 p.m. today. And we're going to share with you that Google Classroom code um, shortly within this presentation. So don't worry, we got you. We will definitely break this down for you. This is gonna be the normal schedule for whenever we get out of those first two weeks. As you know, we're starting up with remote learning and this is what your day-to-day -day is going to look like. Starting with homeroom, then moving on through core one, your elective, core two, lunch, then core three and core four. And remember, you are going to be able to see the schedule at a later time in our Google Classroom, in our team Google Classroom. Whenever it comes to lunch, we are gonna be giving you roughly an hour um, for you to be able to eat and also to give the opportunity to pick up any food in the East Garner carpool lane. Um, that time is gonna be from 11.45 to one o'clock. And if you have any questions about that, um, you can contact Ms. Keisha Brown. As I stated earlier, um, Bobcat's team, we are gonna have our own team Google Classroom. And just to let you know, all of your core teachers, we're gonna be having Google Classroom as well so that we stay on one platform. And don't worry about memorizing this code. You are gonna be able to have access to it later. And it was also in an email that I sent out to the students and talking points that Mr. Cole set out. We also have a PTSA here at East Garner Middle School, and we're, we're going to show you a short clip to introduce that to see if you want to get involved. Greetings. My name is Dion Glass, and I'm a parent of a seventh grade East Garner Magnet Middle School student and have the privilege of being the current president of the PTSA. On behalf of our PTSA officers and board members, I would like to welcome all new students and families and say welcome back to all returning students and families. We hope that you consider joining us this year as we are working hard to make sure that our community feels included and informed during these unprecedented times. The PTSA mission is to support every student in our school by engaging our community. For many of us, middle school can be challenging at times for our students and families. The PTSA is an important partnership between parents, students, and our faculty and staff who work hard to support every student to success. We hope you consider joining. We are all working parents who pitch in a little to do a lot. The more help and support we get from you, and the more creative input we have from you, the more we can help make this a wonderful school year for our child and all of our students. Your membership helps support the many activities of the East Garner Magnet Middle School PTSA, some of which are listed on the screen. This year, we are also actively working on virtual activities that students, families, and faculty can enjoy to promote inclusion, celebration, and collaboration due to gathering restrictions and the addition of our virtual academy. Benefits of PTSA membership include voting privileges at PTSA meetings, 
social media updates and emails to keep you updated on PTSA activities, opportunities to make East Garner Magnet Middle School a better place, to show support for our students, and to network with others. It also provides parent support resources, which are available through the national and state PTSA. To join, please visit our PTSA webpage found under the parent tab of the school's website. You can join online by clicking on the link to our member hub page. Once you log in or create a new account, select the shop button on the left-hand side of the page and choose membership. Or you can download the membership form from our PTSA page and mail the completed form and payment to our school. We're looking forward to seeing you soon. All right. So that's just information that you needed to hear from the PTSA. Hopefully you consider joining. Something else that we want you guys to know is that we are still going to be using talking points that was used last year as well. And this is a great way for parent communication. And also with this app, it, um, the language can be translated to your home language. And if you have any questions about technology, such as you need a laptop or a hotspot, or if you have any issues with your laptop or any Google app applications or Canvas, these are the people that you should contact, either Mrs. Lizenby or Mrs. Farrell. Now, Mr. G, Mr. Gutierrez is going to be talking about expectations for online learning. All right, so here are some expectations for online learning. You will attend all online classes. You will advocate for yourself and ask questions whenever you need help. You will treat all fellow Bobcat students and all teachers with respect. That means not talking while others are talking, no insults, no side chatting during instruction, and enter the class on mute. So you want to mute your mic. You will try your best with all assignments, activities, projects, and online discussions. All classwork is required. Grades count. Thank you, Mr. G. Now, Mr. Cole is going to be talking about daily class routines. All right. So your daily routines are no different than before. You come into class and you're going to do whatever assignments that are proper, warm-ups, daily do-nows, etc. You'll get your live instruction approximately around 20 to 30 minutes a day, and then you're going to get 20 minutes of working on it and asking questions as needed. Now, how to prepare for classes? Read everything, watch all the necessary videos, make sure you pay attention to the lectures, and ask questions. It's the best way to get everything that you need to be very successful for this school year. Thank you, Mr. Cole. You're welcome. And we're, and we're gonna be closing this out soon with just letting you know a parent to-do list. So you really wanna make sure that you have the Talking Points app. Um, if you were with us last year, then you should be very familiar with it, hopefully. Um, make sure you have access to Power Schools. Also make sure that your child is able to log in to their Wake ID and please update your contact information. Now, as your students are working with us throughout these first two weeks, we will definitely give them opportunities to update contact information, but it's important that you are in the know as well. And if you have any questions about this presentation or Bobcat related questions, you can always email me, the team lead, and my information is right there. And Mr. Klinkscales, if you want to add anything. Absolutely. And I want to thank the Bobcats team for an outstanding presentation. And I know you guys are really excited to be here. So um, Mrs. Farrell and I have been monitoring some questions. Some of you guys had a chance to hop on to our Google form and just share a few questions. A couple of them are a little personal. So we'll try to do some personal emails back to you. But there's a, I'm going to spin around real quick and look. Um, a lot of questions right now are about, you know, what is the Google Classroom code? What are talking points with online piece? So let me start with the online. Everything is going to be housed on our East Garner Magnet Middle School website. Everything you need from Google codes, which are your Google Meet settings or your Google Classroom settings, all of those will be housed 
on our Google or our East Garner Magnet Middle School website. So families, make sure you're checking that over the weekend. You also need to have access to power schools. Every student um, has access to power schools. As has been shared, at, at, let me start with even the very beginning, you have a Wake ID portal. Make sure your child knows how to log into that Wake ID portal because once they're in there, everything's open to them. Their email, their Google access, the Google Meets, the Google Classrooms, the Canvas page, everything they need starts by having that Wake ID access. They cannot use personal Gmail accounts or, uh, or other accounts to access those resources. So make sure your child knows how to do those, uh, access those sources. But another source, like it just says PowerSchool, parents, you can have an access portal yourself. Um, I would ask you that you direct any requests there to myself or Mrs. Caldwell, and we'll make sure we get that information to you. Um, let me see if there's any other general questions that I haven't uh, answered real quick. Um, you saw the schedule, and, and the schedules are going to run about 60 minutes per class with a little break in between. Now, you're hearing a lot of different things about times between the school board expectations, our expectations. A lot of what the school board has set are minimum expectations. Uh, families, we know we have a lot of work to do, and teachers are going to be mindful of that. They're going to have their, their uh classroom times for that hour. They may finish in 40 minutes. They may finish in 30. They may finish in 55. It all depends on the instruction. So we want to make sure that those students that are online as much as they can. And, you know, being online, that's your attendance. If you're online, you're present. If you're doing work, you're present. So make sure you stay on top of being online in the class. If you're doing the assignments, that's another important facet of everything we're trying to do. Um, and I'm gonna be honest with you, I've had some parents ask, what if we need to go out of town? What if there's a doctor's appointment? Um, we always ask that you keep those, keep us in the know of why a child may not be online. But you know, if you have to step out of town for a reason in this virtual setting, if your child needs to log on from your out, out of town setting, absolutely. But all of our instructional times are gonna be during the day between the 7.45 and 3.30 school day. So make sure you know that. And our first week of school is gonna start at nine o'clock. So Monday, make sure your children are online at nine o'clock so they can meet their homeroom teachers and get started with the day. Um, I'm gonna pause to see if any of the uh, Bobcats wanna add any other information to us. But those are the, the biggest questions that I've seen. And uh, let's see here. And I'm gonna see if Ms. Farrell has any others. But Bobcats, you all wanna add anything else to what I've shared with the group? I believe the only thing that we wanna emphasize is that we did send out our team Bobcats Google Classroom code. And by three o'clock today, there's gonna to be a lot more information out there for you through that site. So just keep on top of that parents. That's the biggest thing. Um, your children are gonna live in their Wake ID accounts because that's where again, the Google accounts live and their email accounts live. Uh, Mrs. Farrell has reminded me to say to you guys again, and, and I know this was in the presentation, but we can't emphasize it enough. If you have requested a Chromebook or you need that device, um, you have to go through the Wake County uh, Central Office website, basically the central webpage, wcpss.net, to make those requests. We are not controlling that as a school. All of the pickup points are gonna be at uh, randomly selected high schools. The closest one to us is at South Garner High School. Um, they will be, con you guys will be contacted within 72 hours after your request to make sure you know that your device is ready. Um, I think that's everything. So um, I'm gonna say to, uh, to you guys, uh, go Trojans, east side to the strong side. You guys are great. I'm, I'm really excited to have you guys here. Stay in touch with us. Uh, Bobcats, I'm going to let you sign off from there. Uh, welcome to East Carter Middle School for seventh grade. Thank you. Uh, just know, guys, that we are so excited to have you. We know that this time is scary, but we are absolutely going to persevere, and we are ready to get started. We look forward to meeting you. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Have a good day.